All right, I want to do a quick video, hopefully quick video, on sort of a PSA on flow templates or power automate templates. Uh, there are a lot of old templates out there, and sometimes it's not a big deal, but other times it can present some issues. Um, in particular, I'm talking about the templates revolving around or that use the Microsoft Forms trigger, uh, because there is sort of the older, the original generation uh, when a form is submitted or when a submission is received, whatever it's called, trigger that returns data in an array format. Uh, so a list of responses as opposed to the individual response that triggered the flow. Uh, and that can cause some confusion when working with the, the flow, you know, basically modifying that template to suit some other purpose. Because the fact that that data is coming in as, a, as an array just causes a little bit of confusion. So just to show an example of that, I have a super simple form here where I'm just asking for a name, color, and how awesome is this form. And I want the responses from this to go into this list in SharePoint. So I'm going to go over to Power Automate Templates and I'll say record form responses. And here's one of the, I know for a fact that this is a, tr this template is using the old trigger just from personal experience. There may be other, in fact there probably are some other templates that are also using that old trigger. So I'm going to show you how to know if that, basically if you're going to use one of these templates, how to check to see if the template is using the trigger, um, the old trigger, and then how to fix it. So I'm going to select this and it's just going to create a new flow here. Apparently I have to fix my connection. Fixed, okay, not sure what happened there. Okay, so now I'm going to create the flow and this being a template, I just need to give it some values. So I need to give it a form. There's my super simple form and then the response detail. So we can see that it's forcing, basically it's using this apply to each because because that response data, because the, the, the trigger output is in the form of an array, it's going to iterate through every response that's included in that array, every item in that array. Um, the reality is that you're, it's going to be triggered as for each submission, so you should only ever be getting a single response, uh, which I think Microsoft eventually figured out and updated the trigger, uh, but they don't go back and replace in the older templates, they don't go back and update the triggers in the templates themselves. Uh, so we're just going to use that same form there, and then the site is going to be Project Capricorn, and there's the super simple list. And then we'll just map some values there. So the title will be the name, the color will be color, and then awesomeness because it's a number field. I need to use the int expression to convert the awesomeness output of the how is this awesome question into an integer number. So I'm going to save and we'll go back to the details page here and I'll go to my form and we'll fill this out. And we'll say that my name is Louise Yellow and I'll give it two stars. Submit that. And then if we go and look at our run history here and we open up the trigger, we can see there's the form ID and there's the list of response notifications. Now, by contrast, uh, I'm going to go over to another tab here and create a new automated flow just from scratch, uh, selecting the when a new response is submitted. So I'll just call this when a response is submitted and create a new flow there. And again, select the same form and get the get response details. 
and super simple form. Now you'll see when I select the response ID here, there's no apply to each because it's getting, basically the trigger is only outputting a single response ID as opposed to a list of the responses. So I hit save. And if I then go and trigger the form again, say it's auto and you're selecting blue and he's going to give it four stars. Here's our initial one that from the template that's returning the list of notifications. And here is our from scratch returning a singular response. So this response details is just a single thing. Uh, so now how do we go back if we want to continue using this template, uh, but we want to <clears throat> update the trigger to use the newer version of the trigger so that we're not dealing with this this array for the rest of our lives. Now we click on the edit button here. Now one thing to know about deleting the trigger is that it deletes, you know, it's like it's deleting an action in Power Automate. Any output of that trigger, uh, when you delete an action, whether it's a trigger or just a regular action, any outputs from that trigger they're used anywhere else in the flow are also going to be deleted. So we're going to need to go back and fill in some gaps. So first off, let me delete our trigger. There we go. And then I need to add a trigger. We'll select Microsoft Forms. And there's only one trigger there, so it's an easy choice. Select that. Select our super, super simple form. And now what I can do is go into our response details here and remove this list of responses. And if I move this outside of that loop, I can then get that response ID and hey, it does not por force it into a loop. Same thing with this create item. So we need to get the, actually that information was just fine because it was getting the information from this response detail. So I don't need to really update that at all. I can just move it outside that loop and delete the loop. And that's it. And then hit, hit save and you're good to go. So now you have just basically brought that old template up to current standards by deleting and recreating or re-adding uh, the same trigger. And just to be sure that it, it's going to work properly, let me just go over and submit another response here. And this will be from Ralph. And he'll select blue and give it one star. So there's our response. And what do you know? It submitted it just fine without that loop in there. So there you go. That's basically how to know if the template that you're using is using that old version of the forms trigger and how to fix it. So how to remove that and re-add the trigger. Just understand, as I said, that if you're using that response data, um, in this case, because most of the response data was actually, or most of the fields we were using, the dynamic content was from this get response details, that was the only action that we had to address, basically just point that to the new response ID from the trigger and you're good to go. So hopefully that was helpful. If uh, you have any questions, have any problems, throw those in the comments down below.